Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We've been on a little bit of a hiatus, but we're back in force. We've got a lot of good information. And today, Steve is going to jump right into some very interesting stuff on Final Cut that he gave me a little hint about, but I'm excited to see what's going on here. Today, I want to talk about camera archives. Oh, my God. <laughs> Super exciting subject. It's a great subject, though, because, uh, well... Let's just jump it is a great it. subject, but we've talked a lot about it, but you're going to do something very new and different. That's right. Okay. And kind of blow you away. Let's, I don't let's want to oversell it. it. Okay. Okay. okay, so here we are inside Final Cut, and uh, I have the import window open. And right now you can't see it, but I have an SD card from my Canon C100 already mounted on the desktop. Okay. okay. Well, we can see it in the top yeah, left of the could, import window. Exactly. There. So you see it right there at the top left. Yes. Now, and we've talked about this like ad nauseum, um, that... You really do want to create a camera archive of your media. And the reason is it preserves the data structures of the car. Yep. And particularly when you, uh, you know, go through your clips, you can do things like set in and out points, right? And, right, on uh, clips if they're on a camera if archive. If they're on a camera archive. It's, essentially, it's a bit-for-bit -bit clone of the camera original. Right. Highly recommend it. But there are cases when you still want to make a camera archive, but... Maybe they're like half the clips are something you, you're not interested in archiving. Can you make yeah. a custom camera archive is the question. And that, that happens to me because sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll shoot and I'll, I'll only want a couple of shots off the card because I've left other shots on the card. I don't want to delete them. I just want to grab those clips. But then I don't have a backup. I don't have a camera archive. And I'm ignoring my own advice because I really don't like to make camera archive of just a couple of clips. So you're right. saying that is possible? It is. But before we actually jump into that, normally you would just select the camera card at the top right, right. in the camera section. And then, and then you would click the Create Camera Archive button. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is jump out to the Finder just for a moment. And here is my... Card, my, card. my SD okay. card. Yes. Now, one thing you never want to do is actually go into the folder and start pulling movies off and dragging the Dragging the files off. And if you do that, you're going to lose the ability to make individual selections. Right, you won't be able to set in and out points, and you also won't be able to restore from camera archives, That's right. You, et cetera. So, again, leave all your media in its original data structures. Okay. Okay, so here's the first step. Um, I'm going to make a clone or a copy of this card, so I'm going to hold down the Option key and drag. And I've just made a, a copy of that camera card on the desktop. Okay. All right. So it's good. It's a. It's about a gigabyte of content, and um, you could do this on any drive. You could right? do this on any drive, and this is preferable to dragging content out of it. Yes, because it's maintaining the card structure. Because exactly. It's, it's exactly. Basically, a clone of the whole thing. Again. That's right. Now I'm going to jump back into Final Cut. Okay. And this is where it gets interesting. If I go to the desktop, let's see. So. This right here. That's your copy, right? This is my copy. So I'm going to open this up. And notice, I'm selecting a folder on the desktop. Right. It's, I'm not selecting the original card. Right. But notice now, I can make... You can set in and out points. I can set multiple in and out It functions wow. exactly like a camera and card. And just to be clear, if you had dragged a file out of the camera card to your desktop, you would not be able to set in and out points when you're importing like That's this. That's right. Yep. Okay, now where it gets, gets really fun, okay? <laughs> I'm, go, I'm going through this, and I'm like, okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here I shot. Well, I just, I just don't need it. Do I really need that shot of the wheelbarrow in my camera archive? Okay, maybe not. So what I'm going to do is close this, jump out back to the Finder. Now, I'm going to open up this copy here, and I'm going to go into the DCIM folder. That's the folder that, stole, that Canon creates on its own cards right, when you format it, right? Uh -huh. So I have... All of this content, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through here and uh, let's see here. I'm gonna, oh, these are some shots of my cat. I don't really need those. So I'm gonna shift, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, command click these and I'm gonna hit command delete. Command delete uh -huh. uh, let's see, and there was that wheelbarrow shot in there. I'm gonna hit command delete. I'm just gonna go through and I don't know why I need that. Uh, I don't really need that. And I'm going through and I'm deciding, you know, what clips I wanna keep and what right. ones I don't wanna keep, right? But here's what's really cool. Okay. So you saw me do that. You saw me delete all the stuff. Yes. Up. But let's say... Out of the copy of your card. Right. But let's say I have a piece of music and maybe some photos and stuff that I also want to include as part of the camera archive that weren't part of the original camera card. Check so it can, out. You can add media. Yeah. So there's a, an audio file and there's a couple okay. of picture files. I'm going to select those and just drag them right into the DCIM folder. Just okay. like that. Okay. Right? Now I'm going to go back to Final Cut Pro. Let's see, tab. So we've customized the folder and I'm back in the import window and you can see here I'm sitting on the desktop and there's that Canon folder, right? The copy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the folder and take a look inside. And you'll notice that in this particular instance, 
there are less files as I go through here, you will not see those other files. The files you deleted are gone. They're gone. And there's that audio file I drug the in. files you added, okay. And there's a couple of the image files that I, that I drug in as well. Right. Okay, they're all there. Okay, so you've completely customized the contents of this copy of your card. Right. But can you create an archive of that? We're going to find that out right okay. now. Okay. All right. So if I'm going to select this folder. Yes. I'm selecting a folder. Yes. Look what shows up. Create, create an archive. archive. Because that's not available for any old folder on the desktop. No, it's not. The only reason it's available is because this is a copy of your camera right. card. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to say create archive. I'm going to say Canon. And I'm going to just, just to keep things simple, I'm going to call this copy. And I'm going to save that. I'm gonna, normally, I don't recommend you save it on your desktop, but I'm going to do it anyway just to keep things clean. Right. But the the copy is made. So he says, under it put, put in put favorites. In favorites yep. There it is. And there is my, there's, there's my pared down video file list. Yes. And if I go over here, let's see, look at photos. You should be able to see the photos. The photos that you brought in. Yes. yes. So <clears throat> they're all there. Wow. So and, you created a custom, and now you would import from this. And then I could import from that. Okay. So the great news is I can create camera archives, custom ones, as long as I start with the original camera card, make right. a clone of it, right. and then work from that. You know why I love this is I often, on my cards, I'll leave old media just for safety. Right. And I'll shoot new stuff. And then when I put that card in, I don't want to create a camera archive of all that old stuff. Yeah. But here I could copy the card, delete all the old stuff, create an archive of just the new stuff, and I still have my card with the old footage on it just as, as an additional backup. Yeah. That's great. I will, I will use that. Yeah. Very, very useful. Yep. Awesome. So there you have it. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I did. That's something I'm absolutely going to use. RippleTraining.com for all of our stuff. Follow us on all the social media and uh, keep watching. We'll be back with a lot of new information. Thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.